versus the buzz. Uh, I haven't seen this before. I know what happened, but I only tuned into Midwest Mayhem after he already won. So I don't know what happened. I do know that based off of Leo dropping the set to Kiri at Torimon and based off of the Genesis 5 set, Leo's been looking a little shakier versus Cloud. DeBuzz has been, or Leo's Cloud has been looking shakier. And I think part of that might be splitting time between Marth and his other characters because he's been needing Marth for Bayonetta a lot lately. So that might be hindering him. But also DeBuzz has been improving a lot versus Cloud because uh, you saw him take out Tweak at Frostbite. So this should be a good set. Clearly it goes to game 5 based on the length, so I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I'm going to move my T over here. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, oops, gotta mute that. I don't care about the audit. So we talked about stages before in the other VOD, but just to go over it again. Uh, generally, Rosalina doesn't like Smashville, and she doesn't like Lilat against Cloud. Smashville gives... Um, Smashville gives Cloud a free opt-out of Edge, and also just free limit charge. Even if Leo doesn't really play like that, it's still an option that you don't want her to have, don't want him to have. And then Lilat, the platforms and the tilt at the edges make it really hard to hold an advantage state on him. So it's fine for it to go to Battlefield. Cloud likes having platforms to land on. Uh... So at the very beginning, what we see, let me hit this button again. It's kind of weird doing the keyboard and mouse this way, but anyway. Uh, Leo starts with the limit charge, and for Rosalina, you kind of want to run off, and you don't want to come too far in, because if he runs, like, he can do, like, run off up air, so it's very smart to just drop and shield early in case he does that. Uh, obviously, if you're a top-level crowd, you shouldn't really be doing that as an autopilot thing. But you can see here that the moment he sets up the jabs too soon, Leo goes for the roll behind, because that's normally a pretty good answer to an early jab. And Leo gets an immediate read right here by threatening to buzz. Uh, because you get behind him, it, it triggers him to roll away to try and reset the neutral. And Leo reads that immediately. So just off that play, you should be thinking that Leo's already like in a good spot mentally to play. He got some free chip damage on Luma. Um, you see, DeBuzz does the exact same thing, if we watch. Uh, he sets the jab up early, he rolls behind, and that triggers DeBuzz to roll a second time. So, this time Leo chooses to go for a forward air. Uh, maybe he was anticipate. maybe he thought he could catch the roll in time with this. Maybe he didn't anticipate DeBuzz to do it twice in a row, but you can see how effective this type of pressure is at getting the Rosalina out of here. Um, but either way, that wasn't as good of an option as the run-up grab was last time, and it does get him punished. Uh, the back throw Nair is a DI mix-up, so if he DI's low, it doesn't really work. But also, it can get a little tricky since the platform is here. Sometimes, if people, like, they don't DI all the way down, and then the cloud would land on the platform, which would make the Nair a lot better. Um, but in my opinion, if you choose to go for the back throw, and you know the platform's here at low percents, it's better instead of to do the Nair to just run forward to here. Because if he DI's up, the platform gives you more time to react to your follow-up anyway. So if he DI's down, you get a tech chase just by running. And if he air dodges, you can jab. And if he techs, you can react and, and punish him. And if he does like a no tech, you can react and punish that. And then if he DI's any higher, the platform will catch his landing and you still have more time. So, if the platform is here, there's no reason to go for a DI read. You can just run up and, and get something guaranteed. Uh, and so he misses out on a punish there. It does lose Luma for it, because uh, Leo again gets to roll and take the stage control. So, suboptimal from DeBuzz makes him lose Luma and go to have a guaranteed punish. As I've gone over several times, this whole part right here, just getting off the edge, this is all trash. I don't think Rosalina has legitimate options to get off against Cloud. You just have to hope that he gets it wrong. So regular getup doesn't work. Get up into the down air doesn't work. Trying to go high and then land, eventually your landing gets caught. 
He does eventually sneak back on to the getup, right, with the regular getup, but we'll see. He actually picks it at the same time as the full hop down air, so it is a risky getup. Obviously, it's always risky, but I guess it's good for DeBuzz to be proactive knowing that Leo likes to do this um, because the full hop down air will catch any later getups. So it's good to keep in mind if the opponent likes to do the full hop down air, you kind of want to get up early into it. So hopefully, you can get your shield up by the time he comes down. Um, but if you get up too early, like we saw down here, or that one just because he grabbed. Um, was that a get up, get up or a jump on the second one? That looked like a, yeah, that's a jump. Okay, so this one gets you nailed by this. So in some ways it's okay to like take a little bit of the damage just to get one way up because those are the types of trades you need to make against Cloud. Uh, so if you make him favor one type of getup, might be easier to sneak back on later, but it's just so hard because there's no guarantee that he would go for it again anyway. But either way, Debus does make it off, does get a grab. Misses the follow up and gets hit for it though. So let's look at what he could have done here. Gets the grab. Um, he's trying to threaten with the back air. Sometimes you can like do jump, double jump, back air and do it really fast before they react. Um, but you can see that Leo was about to go for another jump here anyway, so he wouldn't have gotten that. And then at this point, if you commit to going down here, I think you want to, if you have to double jump back to the edge anyway, or back to the stage anyway, I think this is where you want to do a up air. Because that way you're, you kind of already missed your opportunity to actually hit him. But this way you'll be a little bit more covered. But instead he goes all the way out here and he does get hit. So unfortunate that Debuzz's play doesn't work out and he's going to take another hit for it. Luckily it is going to hit him back onto the stage and Luma's coming back. So he's not going to lose out too much for it. It's just a play that didn't work out. Either way. I'm back in neutral. Luma immediately dies to the dash attack. This is something like, if the cloud wants to go for it, there's not a whole lot you can do to stop Luma dying, but you do get a punish for it anyway. Um, obviously, if you're crawling back, you're not going to be able to turn around and shield, which is the only thing that would have really protected Luma here. But oftentimes, the Rosalinas actually don't mind it if you lose Luma in exchange for a free punish. So, I guess it all depends on how much Leo can get off of this uh, time and how long the buzz can hold the advantage state. So he gets the grab, doesn't lead to anything, and it immediately gives him the space to reset back to neutral. Let's see if he could have done anything to hold it longer. Generally, it's a hard to do it against Cloud. So he runs this way. I guess he isn't expecting a double jump back on. I think that's what this is. He's looking for a double jump back on so he can back air him off. But Leo smartly goes to the edge. There's nothing really the buzz can do about this. And now that Debutz is already committed to jumping away from this, he doesn't have any good options to edge pressure. So it's another like part of the matchup where you kind of have to just look for opportunities, and if you don't get them, then it goes back to neutral. But I still agree with the decision to look for something overall. That was really good spacing. So he lets this go, he doesn't try and punish it. Maybe he could have punished that? Let's see, I think he could have. I think he was expecting this to auto cancel because normally short hop down air from here auto cancels, but I think he just did it a bit slow. So catches them both by surprise that it didn't auto cancel, but still probably better that the buzz didn't go for the punish just in case. Because dash attacking into someone's shield is like one of the worst things you can do. So he spaces out against this back air basically perfectly. He gets the dash attack punish, so that's a really nice opening for him. But he gets a little hungry on the follow-up here. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate that that's actually punishable by Cloud, but it is. <laughs> so not a good decision to go for. I think on most characters that would have been completely safe. Uh, but even then the reward for it is pretty low, so... Probably an unnecessary option to go for that forward air in the first place. But Leo gets a free punish. Sends the buzz back off stage. He does manage to air dodge in time for the back air, which is good. Although, if he did anything else, he would have gotten hit. So, good air dodge. It will force the buzz to go to the ledge. Uh, Leo does not choose to go for a down tilt or anything. I think he's going to go back to the edge trapping with the down air. But the second time he does the down air, he does it 
really early and Devas times this perfectly, um, I think Leo could have reacted and grabbed it. Because if you go over here, da 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 you do the full hop down air, you land at the edge, and then you turn around and grab. I think that's normally like a guaranteed thing, but Leo doesn't go for it. He goes for a jump. And normally this is fine too, because you can just keep pressuring Rosa with the back airs, and he, he gets the roll, so... And it kills! <laughs> so, Cloud, Cloud has a lot of power here. Uh, really good roll read by Leo, so... Can't really criticize that option. Instead of going for a guaranteed grab, he went for a non-guaranteed pressure setup that led to a kill. It's one of those things where you, when you break things down little by little, it's important that you also try and watch the big picture as well because if you only watch things per instance, because that's how I show the VODs is I show them per instance, right? But if you only look at it like that and you don't keep in mind the big picture you can miss opportunities like that and it's really important to try and store reads and, and think of how you can get big payoffs later because obviously that's going to be a way better reward than just getting a single uh, grab at the edge so anyway good lead for Leo uh, Debuzz doesn't really do much with this invincibility I don't think he jumps, can't really, yeah. It's hard to chase Cloud, but he does get a jab when Cloud runs in. It brings Leo back to the edge. Could he have gotten anything off that roll? He's looking for back air gams. He goes for another short hop. I think he might have been able to react to that. I think that was reactable. Um, Because I've seen DeBuzz go for these setups where he desyncs the back air and he keeps going for it. And then he reacts to the getup, but for whatever reason, DeBuzz misses that. He rolls away. Uh, he looks for the jab loop, doesn't get it. But it also looks like he got lagged somewhere. So jab, jab. Oh, he air dodged. And then shielded. And so DeBuzz just ran up and grabbed him. So that's good. Catches the landing. A little bit of an autopilot from Leo, I think, the landing. Just immediate down air, and DeBuzz reacts to it perfectly. That's good. That should make him use the jump. It does. And the platform saves him. Ooh, aggressive from Leo. I think this is the other thing. If I remember from the Frostbite set, or Genesis set, this is actually something that Leo does a lot that's not great, is he gets hit. Or maybe it was Tweak. It was... Maybe it was both of them. Uh, I definitely remember at Genesis, Leo jumps in a lot once he gets hit. Um, and so he gets out of the juggle state right here, right? And he's fine and you can come down here and just play normally but he goes straight back in for an attack now maybe he thought he was gonna have enough time because he thought maybe the bus was gonna commit to the jab but I think probably not the best call um, and this is just something to remember about Leo in this matchup so he gets a free punish and sends Leo to the edge but I don't think anything actually comes off the edge anyway yeah, it's so hard to actually track him. Somehow DeBuzz ends up on a platform. I don't know how you go from advantage state to on a platform. So he goes for the back air again. Back air doesn't hit. Um, I think given the distance that DeBuzz had when he first knocks Leo off, if we go back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, D-Link. If you consider the down smash here and how much like time he has to actually threaten this i think back air is probably the best call because he wouldn't have gotten there anyway in time but leo spaces around it but here i think this is really bad from the buzz he does he tries to catch him with a nair but there's really like even if you get this hitbox you're going to be doing like three damage and resetting anyway and the situation that you put yourself in Wait, let me open up my streamlabs before I forget anything. Anyway, the situation you put yourself in just for going for this is not great. So I think the risk reward for going for this double jump nair is also no good. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, so yeah. He goes up here. Nothing comes of it. And then he ends up down on this platform. And he does go for a Lumaland back air as he lands. So it's like a cool little tricky setup to try and hit Leo, but Leo doesn't get it by any of it. And now look at the situation DeBuzz put himself in. 
Um, considering that he had first hit Leo off stage, he's now on a platform. So it's like a bit of an unforced stage uh, conceding. And that is actually going to cost him a lot of damage on the Luma. Although, hmm. Not, this isn't perfect for Leo either. So when you do the first up air like this, what you want to actually do is you want to now hit Luma back this way, because it'll only be one more hit to kill her. So you could jump up and back air and then do a retreating back air, that's safe. But Leo instead goes for a second up air, but the bus has already put himself down here, so this is a punish. Definitely a retreating back air would have been better here. Uh... And that sends him off. And wait, let's look at the last part. Oop -a -doop -a -doo. Lands here off of the dash attack. Waits for Luma to come back, so you can't really press him anyway. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So something Debus has been doing in this matchup lately is he goes for these preemptive up airs to try and catch the other clouds short hop and the short hop normally works for here but leo starts the up the back air from an earlier space so this stops him from getting hit by the rosalina up air here but because he's also jumping now the buzz is going to retreat with it so it's actually pretty safe if they choose to jump early and then you can mix up with the landing neutral air. So that's a really good thing just that the bus has been doing. And that was also very good, just to look at it. You have Cloud in this position here. And a lot of times you want to pressure him or like try and turn this into an immediate kill. But the buzz is very smart. The moment he's like coming out here to stop him from just going to the edge. But the moment Leo commits to using the limit, Debuzz immediately backs off. He recognizes it and backs off. So this gives Debuzz everything he wants, because he gets the limit and he doesn't put himself in a bad position afterwards. And then he gets the free punish for that. So that was very good reaction from Debuzz. Then, ooh, good wait, dude. Good wait. And he gets a kill. So let's look at that one more time. Waits for that, gets the up smash. All right. Leo's up here. Debuzz waits. He tracks the movement, follows him, tracks it again perfectly. He runs left at the right time, runs right at the right time, and then reacts amazingly to this uh, air dodge. Also, something that's like worth pointing out is how confident you have to be in this forward smash because you would get a little bit more coverage if you did the turnaround up smash. But Luma wouldn't participate in the up smash because since you're doing it from a turnaround, she wouldn't join. But doing the forward smash, you're gonna get the double hit, which is the difference between it killing and it not killing. So that was a really good stock from the buzz. Also, um, just as a general statement, uh, since I upload the VOD analyses to YouTube, um, I'll answer like questions in the Twitch chat for things that are like related to what's going on, but. Uh, besides that, I'm not going to try and slow myself down too much with just other chat stuff. So I'll answer any questions, but beyond that, I'm going to be focusing a bit on, on the video. So let's look. He comes back down with the back air, dodges this. He jumps to try and wait out the invincibility, which is annoying because it's just such a bad position to be in. But Cloud is also invincible, so you have to give up something. Something that we had theory crafted a while ago that maybe Debuzz could have done here is you shoot Luma to one side and then you run to the other side and then you force the cloud to pick who who to go for. If he goes for the Rosalina, then Luma's safe no matter what. And if he goes for the Luma, then you try and clank with an attack with Luma or you recall her immediately so he misses. Uh, but. Otherwise, you get in situations like this, where you're just cornered against an invincible cloud, and you just take a hit and take a Luma hit no matter what. So I think it would probably be good for the Rosalinas to go back to doing that separation tactic. So we see what happens here. He ends up losing Luma for it. Takes a five damage punish for going for the double jump back air, but five damage and resetting to neutral immediately is, isn't a big deal. Uh, I know I said earlier that like 
it's fine to for the Rosalina to trade a Luma for a grab, but that's a grab assuming you got positioning. Just five damage and immediately going back to neutral is not really the same thing. Not apples to apples. Um, so he base out dash attack and gets good punish. Was that near dodge? Or it was right. Base a dash attack with a limit. Double jumps over it. That's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. This is a like it's a pretty simple read, but it's good nonetheless. Um, so. Not a whole lot Rosalina can do there. Take the damage, go back to the edge. And that all spawns from that dealing with the Invincible Cloud. So. It's just annoying. Because he still needs to get out of this edge somewhere. He spot dodges the back air. Personally. Okay, why did he grab there? Let's look. Lands, Lance goes here. This doesn't look like he should get the shield out in time. Like, this looks like... Leo probably should have gotten it. But it looks like Leo actually fast falls it. Or it just lands before the invincibility runs out. So the buzz is fine. I think the buzz thought he saw landing lag, which is why he buffered the grab. But either way, that doesn't work. And now we're still he's spot dodge spamming. I don't think the spot dodge spam is good because even if you dodge a move, it would need to be like a grab to actually get a turnaround. Um, but if he's just doing the back airs, even if you spot dodge a back air, you're not getting anything out of it. So it's probably better to just hold shield and then have him at least commit to the grab. Because if you remember at the beginning of the stock, or the first time around, when I said Leo had a really good setup for a grab at the edge, he instead reset to this situation. And if he's gonna reset to this, or if he's already indicated that's what he prefers to do, then it's, it's bad to do the spot dodge spam because you don't get anything even if you get it and it would be better just to shield so because he goes for the spot dodge he gets hit now we're starting over again uh, that should have been a punish from Leo uh, this is one of the mix ups is jump down air uh, if you do the down air later that's how you would need to hit him at this range but you are going to get landing lag now the buzz like does the one mix up he has which is to fade forward and then mix up the, the drift by drifting back immediately so it does catch leo off guard because he runs forward anticipating the bus to keep drifting in but that should be something that with better spacing on leo's part he should be able to hit both directions regardless so the buzz did what he could in that position but still on leo uh and it puts the buzz back onto the stage he gets a little bit of stage control, gets hit by the back air, hits by another back air, Luma's gone. Straight back to the edge. Let's actually look at that piece by piece. So he goes for another jump down air. I feel like jump down air is something you can't do that much on Battlefield because the platform gives you the lag. So he goes for a second one, gets the lag again. Leo's ready for this one, hits him, loses Luma. Leo chooses not to punish the regrab. That's a third regrab. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. So it goes for that. Goes for that. This should be like super free. Super, super free. Like at least a down tilt. Um, but Leo does pretty bad flub and he gets hit off stage for it. Okay, what else happened? Cuts the back air. Rolls. Let's see that one more time. It's just. He goes down here. He uses the limit. This down air, not necessary. It was like a little slow, but obviously if you were to hit him out of the upbeat, that'd be really great. But a little slow, so all that's doing is really giving him lag. The lag is what Leo lets Leo roll back on and be okay. So the buzz now needs to dip. He goes for like run forward roll or forward backwards at least. So he doesn't get hit, but now we're back to neutral. They both run up shield and Leo's just faster on the grab. Woo! That was quick. He goes for this dash attack. At this point, dash attack here would cover him doing nothing or him doing like let go double jump. But what's crazy is that it covers the Luma on the regular getup too. And the Buzz tries to punish it like really fast, but because it was the late dash attack. The down smash is no good. He would have had to have done like a turnaround grab or forward tilt or something, but that's like one of those obscure situations to be in. And because of that, Leo gets the Luma and gets the buzz in a bad position and a back air. Okay. 
you can see these platforms are really the landing down airs are just like bad uh they're just legit bad um because even if you hit the down air you're not going to get anything like you're still in this position even if you got the down air because it doesn't send him anywhere so if you want to do the down air i feel like you have to do the down air earlier so at least you don't get the landing lag but here you commit way too much and then you get hit for the back air also hello everyone who tuned in um so the bus double jumps back up it gets a little it gets a little dicey with these spot dodges i really think these spot dodges are super risky because look you think he's gonna back air your shield and so you want to spot dodge the back air there's no guarantee you get the spot dodge timing on the back air and even if you do get it you're not guaranteed anything so he gets to fight for a little bit he actually goes for an immediate punish on the back air doesn't get it so spot dodging the back air you still don't get a punish now leo does miss the second back air to punish that still moves behind him so rosalina still what does she have to do she has to spot dodge again and you're in the same situation so i think instead of spot dodging you really do want to either shield or like crouch and shield it's just so hard not to spot dodge but i just think it's really just not what you want to be doing either way back over here look again da, 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 da. in the same situation it was really good for debuzz to gain some stage control here while he could so he's going for the backer stuff again he jumps air dodges he goes for a second one so two air dodges you are going to get landing lag for doing that but it gets the cloud to try and hit you and you have to do something to get yourself out of the edge so i actually do like what the buzz did here it's pretty sneaky and the move gets caught on Luma, so he has a little bit more time to do something. This down tilt is a bit of a flub, and then he misses the grab here, so a little bit of spaghetti here. They both roll, um, but this is a good position for Rosalina. Gets the grab. What? Oh, okay. Almost. So if you remember here, when DeBuzz took Leo's first stock, he was doing the, he was catching the drift forward, drift back, drift forward, drift back, and ended up catching the air dodge with the forward smash. This time, uh, he chooses to air dodge back over here, and the buzz tries to catch it with a short hop up air. It can be tricky, obviously, because the short hop up air would be good if he wasn't air dodging, but maybe given how they had played this juggle out earlier in the stock it would have been better for debuzz to continue being a little land shark because that's what worked out for him the first time but that gives him a free landing weird option by leo here he runs off with the forward air the hitbox doesn't even come out i don't know if that was his fault did he fast fall out at the wrong time or whether that's actually not a thing that can do Assuming you could get the full forwarder out and he just fast fell it, then it was a bad fast fall, but he could also then run off Nair or whatever. So DeBuzz gets away with the, the, the up air in the end. They both roll. DeBuzz immediately rolls away. Leo doesn't get to grab him in time, so now we're back to neutral. Leo gets his limit. Look, he does it again. This has happened three times now. DeBuzz goes for the jab. Leo goes, rolls behind. This triggers the buzz to roll this way. This this has happened several times now. Leo reads the roll, but instead of going for the grab, he's going for this forward air. And the forward air just keeps being too slow, and that gets him punished. Um, now, it's good for the buzz again. What the buzz does that's really good here is he keeps him from going to the ledge without using limit. So the forward smash, if he tries to go straight to the edge, will make Leo lose. And that's all the buzz needs to do to scare him off. He's not trying to like run off and gimp him or anything. He just is getting rid of the limit. So good safe play from the buzz. Catches the roll get up with a down tilt and then that's a tech chase. That's really good. This might have been an up tilt that missed like a C stick, C stick jab or something. Cause I feel like that should have been an up tilt here. Um, so that's going to let Leo land for free. He sinks in a dash attack. I think before that, Leo needs to be really careful about these forward airs. I feel like these are not working out for him. And he even gets damage on Luma, but it hits Luma down. It's not even hitting Luma out. So it's just damage at best case. Anyway, he rolls away. 
then it gets dashed back on the short hop nair. The nairs are generally not that safe if people react to it properly, so it's just something to be careful of. But it does trade, so it's not the worst situation. You see, this time, Debez, he goes for the short, the jump down air again. This time, he drifts away from the edge, the platform. And we talked about why the downer is not good if you land on the platform, because you get the lag. But then, even if you drift away, like, Cloud can trap you. And that was a Luma land from... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Debuzz goes for Luma land. It looks like Luma land up smash, I want to say. Or Luma land grab. Let's use the frame, the hot frame by frame. Oops, wrong button. Frame by frame. So you can see here, this is Luma doing a forward air. And I think it does connect with the shield. Now what isn't clear to me from just looking at the animation is whether he's trying to run or if he's trying to up smash. If he's trying to up smash, that would have been a confirm had it not hit the shield. If he's trying to run, that would have been stage control. Um, so, optimally, Debuzz is going for something like super advanced here. Optimally, forward air grab would have been best. It's not going to be the same reward if the forward air connects. Because you have to, remember, you have to do this all at once, right? So... He's, he's committing to forward air, and I think it's forward air up smash. It's really hard to tell. Um, or forward air run. Maybe forward air run, and then you could react with double jump up air. But I think optimally you want to do forward air grab here, because if the forward air hits, cloud goes up, and then you get your positioning anyway, and then in every other circumstance you get your grab, and then you can throw him off. But because he doesn't, uh, Leo is actually able to grab it. So that sends the buzz off stage. Uh, da, 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 da. He does go for the down tilt finally. He doesn't get it. Missed times the... Ah, he died. Let's look at everything else, though. Missed times the attack. So Debuzz is able to do a quick down tilt. That's nice. But he starts the jab, and then Leo just back throws over it. Yeah, you can't, you can't start jabs that close. Like, the jabs in general have not done anything this game. Because he either rolls behind and gets a read, or he... In this case, he just jumps over it and back airs. So, gotta be a little careful. Leo does take that first game. Device had a really good sequence on Leo's first stock. Well, you could see just how much Cloud does if he hits you once. Uh, you're taking a lot of free damage, just getting out of disadvantage. And... Device was missing a couple of his conversions, or chose like suboptimal options that would let Leo make it back. But again, this is a hard matchup. And there were a lot of things the Buzz was doing good that game as well for forcing the limit. So I'm really liking the offstage decisions from the Buzz, but I think the onstage parts could definitely be improved for this next game. So we start here, he walks up, or runs up, then he starts walking. Really good bait for the dash attack, gets the fourth throw Nair. Let's look at this next part. So fourth throw Nair, that part's fine. Gets a, hits him there. Leo jumps this way. Debuzz jumps this way. So he wants to catch catch him with a back air. Um, but Leo goes straight to the edge. So this should be still be fine, right? Because you're getting caught on the edge. Turn around. Although something to keep in mind is when you do the back air, you see Luma is not active this whole time. She's still recovering from the back air. So Debuzz is trying to wait and reposition himself until Luma's back. Um, but by the time he goes for the down tilt, the Luma's still in a weird position, so you're not getting the full coverage that he might like, and that's because Luma's still dancing around. So he jumps with the down air, and that gets, gets him back up. He actually misses this back air a couple times, so he missed it the first time, and that somehow didn't work. Which, I, it's annoying that you don't get the back air, but at the same time, you end up behind Rosalina. And it's very hard to react to the fact that this is a cross-up. So, he's just going to roll away, because if you don't, you get hit. Uh, he chooses not to finish the jab, because he knew it would have gotten punished. So that's fine to walk away like that. The crawl back is like, a pretty obvious bait that he wants a dash attack. But he goes for a limit, 
or not lemmy, just goes for regular cross slash. So he doesn't get something, but he does go for something he wants to react to. And then you got a kind of an Arcadian sequence where you try and punish him and you mistime it, and then they try and punish you and you mistime it. So the Arcadian play works out for the buzz. He gets the grab. Doesn't get a follow up off that, but it's still good to throw the person in the direction of Luma. Something he could have done, I think. It's kind of tricky. I'm not actually 100% sure how good Leo's mashing is. Because I haven't really sat next to him and played him in bracket. But if Leo's not a masher, then it's worth it to hold the grab for a little bit to give Luma time to land. Um, obviously, given how high Luma was when he did the throw, you weren't going to get a follow up with Luma anyway. But at the very least, if you try and wait just a little bit, Luma will be lower to the ground and then you'll be able to use her earlier. But because Luma still needs to do all this, um, Debuzz goes for another attack and now Debuzz needs to land before he can do anything. Whereas if he did, waited just a little bit, threw him back, did nothing, he could maybe set something up with Luma here because at this point in time he could be on the ground and Luma could be ready to act. Yeah, Leo, Leo might be a master extraordinaire. I legitimately don't know. So just dis completely disregard what I'm saying if you think Leo will like make it out of the grab if you don't buffer it immediately. But a lot of top players don't mash grabs as fast as they could, in which case it becomes very beneficial to just wait a little bit for Luma. Either way, he gets the line for free now. The Debu Debus goes back to the jabbing, but then Leo just gets the Sage Control anyway, so I don't think the jabs are fantastic. Um, he catches the jump with the up air. Again, Debus is normally really good at those. And then catches the landing. Ooh, catches the landing twice. And again, this is why Rosalina likes FD in this matchup. So I don't really know what Leo banned. I really don't know what Leo banned. I'll have to ask Debus that later. But normally, Cloud should be trying to get rid of this stage. Uh, for this exact reason. He has nowhere to land. So catches the up smash. Catches it again. So that's two good reads for Debus. Tries to catch one more time, but then... Fakes him out with a Luma land there. So that's a good sequence from the buzz. Gets the hit. Um, maybe he could have done something here to force the limit. He ends up respecting it. I think what I try and do. Oh, thank you, Floppy. I appreciate it. Um, but something you can do here is starve it. Because even though Luma is doing like recovering from the Nair, you can cancel anything Luma's doing with a special. So even if and she's fine by now at this point, so that doesn't even matter. So you have Luma at the edge. He's trying to drift, obviously. So keep crawling a little bit, and then actually maybe don't keep crawling. Stay where you are. Have Luma right here, and then ba 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 ba. At this point in time, you throw out the star bit, and that'll either clip him and force him to use limit, or he dodges it, forces him to use limit, or he uppies preemptively, again, forces him to use limit. So this was a star bit opportunity, 100%. Uh, so he's going to make it back to the edge anyway. Debuzz sells out pretty hard here. This is to catch a get up jump or a let go double jump. Um... Very risky play. He, he wants to just kill Leo. And does obviously he doesn't get it. Let's see how much it costs him. Takes a hit. And... Okay. He didn't take that much damage, so it's okay. So if you look exactly how the buzz got out of it. Up he's here. The down tilt doesn't hit Luma, so he gets one free hit with Luma. He uses it immediately. So, because he uses it really early, Rosalina still gets her attack because he's still on the hit stun. So that's one. And then he goes for the Nair, so that's two. So he manages to navigate out of there pretty well by timing the attack while Rosalina's in hit stun still. Gets the Nair, and then he's out of there. He's running away, but Cloud is OP. He can still catch the runaway with the back air. It's a fucking ridiculous character, but anyway. Um... Gets the hit, but then goes for a follow-up here. This is also really good. The cross-up up air, like it's just really good pressure. But then the buzz takes a little bit of a gamble and responds with an immediate forward tilt. 
Um, which is pretty good. It, it, it's a good call out by DeBuzz. Because obviously Leo could have done anything, but he didn't do something that would beat the forward tilt. So good option by DeBuzz. Risky option, but it works out. He tries to catch the landing with the back air again. Um, ba -ba -ba. Almost. Yeah, it's a close one. And he spaces it in a way where he's not really going to get a hit for it. So that's fine. And then what option is it? Was that another Nair or Fort Air? Unspaced Nair. He ends up getting landing lag. So a freebie for DeBuzz right there. Gets the grab. Catches the landing with the up smash. Again, really good. Almost catches it twice. Uh, the chases. DeBuzz has been doing a really good job. Let's watch it one more time. DeBuzz has been doing a really good job tracking Cloud's aerial drift by using his run speed perfectly. So watch this. Every time he chases, the moment he changes momentum, the buzz changes momentum. The moment he changes again, the buzz changes it again. He is tracking Leo perfectly when Leo's in the air. Now the only only problem here is that this up smash misses. A little bit of an air ball. He wanted, he wanted to get behind him. Um, so I think doing a turnaround up smash here would have been better. Obviously, his priority was avoiding the forward air, but it just barely misses. Obviously, if he's facing the other way, I think it would have worked. So that's actually going to be a punish for Leo. So it's sad that that whole sequence of DeBuzz's movement was so good, and it only got him a little bit of bonus. But it is really good that DeBuzz is doing that. And it also helped him a lot in the game before. Either way, uh, doing some edge pressure. Let's look at that again. Forces him to go to the edge. That's good. The down air, he throws out the down air kind of early, but part of the appeal to down air is Cloud can keep doing stuff afterwards. So even though he lands, he goes for another immediate attack, which DeBuzz spot dodges. Still no lag. DeBuzz needs to figure out a way out of here. This down air is terrible. I have no idea what the hell this is. Because um, there's like no universe where Rosalina could physically put herself here to have it get hit. And this is maybe like DeBuzz or Leo's best case scenario where DeBuzz is putting something in a laggy state. But in any other situation, if you were already just still standing here and you see the opponent just like jerking off over here with the down air, you just walk forward and you get the stage. Um, and there's literally like no, no universe where this down air would actually make a connection. Um, so... Again, because the buzz jumped, he doesn't take as much advantage of it as possible. Um, but that could have been free stage for Rosalina. And yeah, it, it can be really tricky for the up smash, but he got out of it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's look at that last part. Goes for another show up air dodge. He did this in the first game as well. And instead of doing the double air dodge, he just does one air dodge and lands. So it's cool that DeBuzz is kind of doing multi-game conditioning here to get a landing. Uh, so he sneaks out. Rolls toward a back air. Um, I guess Leo was anticipating DeBuzz to run this way again, but... All DeBuzz is trying to do is waste time for Luma anyway. So he's just running around trying not to get hit. He does pick up a punish here where he can, which is good. It's like a little bit of damage, but anything is good. Throws him off stage, actually. Luma should be coming back soon, I think. <laughs> actually, because I'm pausing and rewinding so much, I have uh, no frame of mind of where uh, <laughs> when Luma's respawning. And also, yeah, uh, no problem, uh, Gumanku. I'm going to have this on YouTube fairly quickly. And for MSM, I will be going to MSM after this, but... Uh, as I said at the start of the stream, Ryder, I'm going to try and like not deviate too much from the VOD unless it's answering like a VOD-related question because I don't want the YouTube video to get clogged with a bunch of chat stuff. That was a really good grab. One of the things that Rosalina has on Cloud's down air is because she's so tall, you can actually shield it earlier than most other characters and you can grab him. Um, which is really nice because normally Cloud's down air, technically it has no landing lag, but if you shield it early enough, you can still hit him. So that's something tall characters get to do against Cloud. So free punish for Rosalina. Throw him off stage. There's Luma. 
Debuzz does the classic, like, land with an attack. Kind of surprising Debuzz didn't punish that because it didn't look like he was uh, really committing to anything beforehand. One more time. Yeah, he actually isn't doing anything. So this should have been a reactable shield for Debuzz. Um, so surprising. But free hit. He doesn't go for the immediate dash attack. He looks for tech chase, doesn't get it. That's fine. The short hop nair gets punished. I don't think you can really short hop down, short hop nair that much in this matchup. What the hell was that? Okay. Goes for down air, that's fine. This gets punished. Okay, yeah, he thought the buzz was gonna like land with a forward air. In which case, this would have been fine. But at the same time, the buzz is at 62. So I will give this limit cross slash a 4 out of 10. Because there is a universe where I could have hit. And it could have been an option the buzz would have done. But even if he got it, it wouldn't have killed. So 4 out of 10 cross slash. Doesn't even catch the Luma. Dude, I, I hate these forward airs from Leo. Like, I hate these so much. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He barely clips Luma. This could have been a dash grab. Um, would have been faster than the dash attack anyway, so. Considering the shield. He gets, he like gets away with it. He gets a down smash. Debuzz sacrifices Luma to get back on. Did he need to sacrifice Luma here? Mm, no. I think in retrospect, you probably wouldn't want to hold on to Luma. But there are like a couple benefits to doing this. Benefit number one is some players don't respect the Luma as much as... Or some people respect the Luma too much. In which case, you... They like back off and you can get up and Luma kind of scared him away. But it's not real pressure because the buzz dipped too low. The other benefit that he will receive is Luma isn't going to be there to lag his regular getup because people can throw attacks as you get up and Luma will delay them. So that can be tricky at these percents, but I think if you want to sacrifice Luma or you throw Luma on, you want to shoot Luma and then you want to double jump back onto the stage. That way, or double jump in a way where you could make it back on the stage, but he ends up going to the edge anyway. Because at the very least, if he could have let him do the forward tilt and then land, he would have been off the edge. Now, I say all that, and it doesn't matter at all, because he got to get up attack. So, I mean, I guess he could have kept his Luma here, but... He does punish the down air with the get up attack, which is really good. It's good that he's, like, willing to do it, too. Whenever get up attacks work, those are, like, the best things you can do. Um, the punish before that, another... Nair onto shield. It's actually kind of tricky that he waits for that, runs, takes the stage whenever he can. That's also an important part of this matchup, is not letting yourself get cornered too much. Whenever a cloud gives you room to step forward, you need to step forward so you have more options. Then he takes the roll. And I think Leo is trying to punish this, which is fine. Um, he just is a little slow. Maybe a fast fall up air would have been faster. Maybe he should have tomahawked. Well, obviously, he should have tomahawked it, right? But you can't know that in the moment. So I think the Nair was fine, he's just a little slow. Or maybe if you don't think... There are just so many thoughts that go on while you're in the moment. If you don't think you're going to punish something in time, it's better to just give it to them and keep playing. Um, but in that situation, Leo said, okay, I can punish. maybe I can punish this, and he went for it. Didn't get it, now it gets grabbed. So he's thrown off. He's going to land. That's good from the buzz. It's not a big deal that he air dodges this. Because, again, he's choosing to go off stage at this point, and this is no risk from the buzz. So good up smash regardless. That dash attack was terrible. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The buzz is thinking he can clip the up B with the dash attack, but I think it was kind of obvious he didn't have the frames for that. So bad dash attack, gets him punished. It's literally the exact same thing I said earlier, where if you are not positive if you're going to get the punish or not, just just don't do it. Like, just don't do it. So now he's in a bad position. Ooh! And he shields just in time. So the buzz lands. Frame perfect landing shield. That catches Leo off guard. He thought he had a free dash attack here. Which, in fairness, uh, is kind of bad timing by Leo, because he should have had a free dash attack there. But you can still throw people off because they can be, like, 
anticipating you to land with an attack or land with a air dodge or something. So players in Leo's position, they can be looking for a visual cue before they do the landing or before they catch the landing. But when you just do the landing shield, because they don't get that visual cue to go for it, that's what makes it effective. So even though it looks kind of scrubby, it actually is better than it looks. So I don't hate Leo for getting hit by that. And I think Debuzz did a good mix up there. Ooh, unlucky there. <laughs> this part of the, this part is actually just the game sucking. Goes for jab, jab, and the last part doesn't hit. <laughs> she just floats out of it. <laughs> That's unlucky for Leo. Um, and sneaky, sneaky the buzz boy. What he's doing here? When you do the up air like this, you position Luma higher, which lets you actually hook her onto the stage while you go under. So the intent of that up air is actually to make Luma land on stage instead of join her underneath. Now because he does that and he still has his jump, he gets to do a like a little sucker punch on the Leo, and then up beyond up beyond stage. Exactly. Really good play by the Buzz. That gets him out of everything. Gets a little bit of damage. That's like as optimal as it gets right there. That was really good by Leo. Run shield. I don't know. I think he's looking for a dash attack read. So he could punish it. But Leo has figured it out. He runs up shields. The moment he realizes... Uh, he tried... Or the moment the buzz realizes he's not going to go for the attack. He then puts up the shield. But Leo is too quick. He gets the grab. That's a dead Luma. He is going to take a little bit from the forward air. But he's going to be able to get back in time. So that's not a big deal either. Down air doesn't connect. He gets punished for it. Maybe Leo should put away the down airs or do something differently. I feel like the way he's down airing is like they've been working not that often. And the bus has been able to get up every time. So it's also good counterplay from the buzz, really making sure that he has the timing good on that. Everything else that happened. He waits. That's a good roll. It's a careful roll. He does manage to get a shield up in time. But it does cross up, so the bus thought he got a punish. He doesn't. That gets punished with the up tilt. Again, Leo thinks he has the punish with the dash attack. Could he have gotten this? No. There is. He just didn't have the frames for it. Um, but he thought he did. So it's again, it's one of those things where he just he was thought he had it, but he didn't. How'd the back air happen? Oh, he went for an up tilt. Okay, yeah, that up tilt. Was not for was not properly spaced, and then after that he gets the limit. He goes here. His dash attack sucks. Gets punished for it. Sets up the jab. Now the difference between these jabs and the other jabs from before is before the bus was jabbing way too early, but now if you start the jab here and he's jumping, the jabs are way safer and better pressure. That being said, the jabs themselves are not, like, you're not going to get anything off the jabs. The goal is to try and make the cloud do something, and then you cut off the jab and hit him. So, in this case, he goes for a limit thing. So, if he kept jabbing, the limit might have hit him in the head, but, again, DeBuzz understands that he's only doing the jab to bait a reaction. He got the reaction, and now he's out of there. Shields the back air. He got rid of the limit. The shield is kind of small now. Oh, my God. This is something you have to be careful of. When your shield is small, expect the dash attack. Expect the dash attack. Now we know the buzz did not expect the dash attack, because not only did he get hit by it, but he also did not DI for it whatsoever. He didn't need to die there. Um, so, I mean, he did get the limit, but that next sequence wasn't amazing. He jumps to deal with the invincibility, but the buzz catches the landing patterns perfectly, he gets the up smash, chases, he could have chased that better, I think. At this point in time, he doesn't have his jump. And he committed to the down air. If you see how early he starts to drift, I think, like, at this point in time, when he's gone this far, you have enough knowledge of where he's going to land. This is where you start the dash, and you should be able to get a grab off this. But the buzz is a little bit slow. He does manage to get a little bit of a punish anyway. Another another rogue dash attack from Leo. It's very off, on and off with these dash attacks. More often off than on so far from what we've seen. Jab to grab. That's nice. 
That's the up air. Luma's now ready to play again. This up air almost connects, not quite. Not a big deal. Good roll read. Ooh. Oh. This is so good. Oh, that's so good. And then he runs forward. I wonder if the down air would have hit. A lot of times when I put people in the tech chase situation, I go for the short hop down air. But I think what DeBuzz does with the jab here is fine. When you get the double jab on the person, it's a little bit more reliable than the single jab. So he just commits for the drill, which will stop him if he tries to pick a roll option. Takes a little bit of damage, but nothing else really happens. Oh, what the... F what was that, dude? Seriously? In what universe? One more time. Land. This was Arcadian as shit, dude. Because not only, like... Let's think about it. For this down smash to work, even the best case scenario is he thinks he's going to catch the foot with the down smash and get a punish. One, that's very clearly not going to happen because the spacing is way off. Two, the buzz is at zero. Um, what I tell people all the time is... You don't go for these rogue smash attacks when people are at zero, you go for something else. So if it's a read, it's a bad read because there's no way it's going to work. And it's a bad punish for the read because he's at zero. So if it's a misinput, it's more forgivable. Like a down tilt would have been good here. So I, yeah, Ryder, I think you're right. The down tilt might have made more sense. But if this was an intended down smash, this down smash is a zero out of ten. So that's going to get him forward smashed. <laughs> that was a terrible down smash. Complete freebie. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Yeah, you're dead. He lost the game for that. Oh, not quite. Oh, he glowed blue. Okay, let's watch that one more time. So this is perfect from DeBuzz right here. Or, I mean, obviously that down smash was terrible. He desyncs with the back air. Gets the high recovery. Waits for the air dodge. That's good. Because DeBuzz waited that whole time, he made sure that DeBuzz, or... He made sure that Leo couldn't just keep drifting and do the uppy snap. He made Leo respect the potential back air and go low. And then he's able to punish with the back air. Now I think at this point, just based off the buzz running this way, I think he already thought he, uh... Player cam might confirm his input? Yeah, if only it was a player cam. Anyway. I think DeBuzz thought he won here, just based on the fact that he's running around, and then he realized he can glow blue. Turns around. If he was a little bit faster to react, he could have put himself in a position where this down air would have stopped him, for sure. So, again, Cloud, Cloud is a stupid-ass character that doesn't deserve any of this, but he made it back. DeBuzz could have covered that, though. He could have covered that if he was faster, or didn't do that little strut. Still somehow finds a grab. So he gets up, he turns around, realizes he missed his opportunity. Again, the difference between DeBuzz and Leo in this game is that more often than not, when DeBuzz realizes the window is gone to do his thing, he backs off. Whereas Leo has been committing and then being off by a couple frames and getting punished. Goes for the get up, he gets the read wrong and it was a roll instead. He rolls again, gets around the back air, um, gets a grab for it. So DeBuzz kind of wins that exchange there. The hell was that? Um, roll. Da, 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 da. This is very weird. So he's expecting a double jump so he could get the Luminaire to win. Very weird option from Leo. It works, so I like it. I would not have anticipated that, and neither did the Buzz clearly. But obviously, works out. This is like the best case scenario for Leo's four dares. Is he? The fact that this finally works, I understand why he goes for the forward airs, because he wants to get a punish onto Rosa just by jumping and hitting him. But I've seen him do better punishes for this, like when he does the jump back air. So obviously, um, what I'm talking about now is more why he's done so many of the weird forward airs earlier in the set. This forward air is a good one, and but now I have a better appreciation for why he goes for the forward air so much in neutral. Although I would say that most of the forward airs were still pretty bad, because more often than not, he ends up spacing them just on Luma and not on Rosalina. He gets the hit, and then he goes immediately for a dash attack. Uh, 
in this case, Leo misjudged how things would play out and didn't anticipate him to be able to land in shield in time. So, he loses. Alright. I, I really like how Nebuzz is catching air drifts in this set. He's following Cloud's landing perfectly. Something I do versus Cloud is I overextend way too much. Um, and Debuzz is doing a really good job of not extending too far. Um, but at the same time, Leo is giving him so many free hits. It's definitely definitely not a clean set from Leo so far. Uh, thanks for the follow, Sandman. How you doing, buddy? Alright, game three, we're going to town. Oops. The fact that we're on town, by the way, makes me very confused as to what stage Leo banned. I think if I had to kind of reconstruct it by myself, I think this means that Leo doesn't play on Lilat because that way DeBuzz could have banned Smashville in town game one and then De Leo gets rid of FD and Lilat. So that would explain the battlefield game one. It would also explain why we were on FD game two because Cloud should be banning FD. So the fact that we're not on FD and now we're going to town means that obviously he didn't ban town then. So the only other stage that would have made sense for him to ban was Lilat. So DeBuzz is actually getting a pretty good benefit from the fact that Leo doesn't like playing on Lilat because as far as I'm concerned, that's Cloud's second best stage in the matchup. Anyway, we're going to town city. A little bit of camping. Nice, 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 nice. Personally, I go for the downer here a lot. I think the back is pretty good. If you look how he gets it, this is his first time really doing an aggressive nair like this, so it's a good mix up to have. He doesn't commit for the nair. I think he could have gotten the second nair right here, though. Yeah, I think he might have, maybe could have gotten that. I'm not 100% sure. He's looking for something, but. This down air is kind of what ruins it. I don't think this down air really could have gotten him anything. Yeah, that down air was terrible. Um, he gives up any hope of getting a hit here. Um, like, the one benefit to down air is it sets up a Luma Land perfectly, but a Luma Land wouldn't have done anything for him in this case anyway. So if he kept all of his options available here, then maybe... I wish I had, like, better options than frame by frame in 5 seconds. If he didn't commit to this down air, then maybe he could have punished this faster with, like, a forward air or something. That would have been really nice for him. But he gets back, not taking much damage, and he gets punished for it. So, not a, it's just, like, one of those random, like, brainless inputs. And Leo did a couple of those earlier that I called out as well. So, just in the interest of being optimal, you really want to not do things that have no purpose. Um, goes for the jabs, shields that, that's fine. That was really good. He catches the run-in. He catches the run-in, like, perfectly, and then Leo drops his shield at the wrong time. He doesn't continue this too long. You can't actually jab loop a limitless cloud, so he goes for the up air, up air. Waits for the air dodge, which is good, but somehow Cloud was able to sneak out. I think this is the game sucking. <laughs> this is the, this is whack. How? How did he sneak through? The air dodge lasted so long. Anyway, I think if you wanted to catch that, maybe up smash would have worked, but I'm surprised Cloud was able to get out of there. Good on the bus to immediately shield and then retreat. So da -da 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 -da, we're up here. BS puts up the shield immediately. Saw that coming. Now that Cloud has to land this way. He goes for one jab for a punish, doesn't get it, so now DeBuzz runs off this way really good. The benefit to doing this is one, you're avoiding this up air, but two, Luma's vulnerable here, so if you run da -da 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 -da, to the other side of Luma, if he goes to kill her, then you can sneak a punish. And so we see just exactly that, he goes to hit the Luma, and since DeBuzz ran to the other side of her, he gets a punish. So. <coughs> Uh, in Leo's position, if he wanted to kill Luma, he should have done it instead of that dash attack, or instead of that short off up air. But because he went for, like, everything, he ends up getting a punish. But still, good positioning from DeBuzz. Woo, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. This is also another thing that... 
I need to incorporate more. He just goes for it. It's risky. He went for a risky play like once or twice before and they didn't pan out. But you can definitely see the reward if you just go for it and you hit him. You hit him out of his jump. Like, that's it. You're dead. Woo! Catch, catches the limit. Good job, Debuzz. Perfect. Sometimes you gotta risk it against God. So I like all that. And I don't hate the way Debuzz... Or I don't hate... Uh, Leo's recovery here either. Because he goes for something quick, but Debuzz just like went for it, you know? It's like a guess at that point. So unlucky for Debuzz, or unlucky for Leo. Debuzz this time reacts to that perfectly. He does a rising down air, which is really good. It can be kind of tricky to hit, especially since. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that down air. It's just per perfect sequence from Debuzz. So, really strong lead for Debuzz right now. I hope he wins this game. It would be very surprising if he still lost. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, we got the back air. That somehow clips Rosalina. That's a little suspect to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, you look at that. You look at that. Look at that. You're telling me that hit him? Where is he getting hit? I don't see it. Whatever, he gets hit, and then he loses Luma for that. I call BS on that back air. Um, Luma's gone, he gets up. His roll gets reacted to. Roll is generally like the worst option for that reason, but low percent back air isn't the worst thing to get hit by, especially if it's back on stage. So that part's all fine. But then this next part... That was just sloppy play from DeBuzz to get hit by that. He wanted to go up and shield, but because he ran instead of walked. When you run, there's like a window where you can't shield because you need to finish your Foxtrot. And because he went for the run instead of the walk, he gets hit by this, which combos into that. So unlucky, but also like entirely his fault. So luck had nothing to do with it. That gets punished. So he goes again for this down air. But he does land early enough to stop the get-up attack. So whether that's conditioning or whether he's just finally cleaner about it, hard to say either way, but that's going to be another punish. And you can just see kind of how this matchup is whack. Because the Buzz had a full stock lead. He only had 7%. And now he's at 63 and he had like barely lost one exchange that kept him in this position. Or I guess like two exchanges really. Catches the air dodge and you're back down here. That was lucky as shit. Alright, let's look at that again. So he's waiting for that. Debuzz is trying to cheese him with the free fall Luma attack. Um, not necessary to go for. As far as I'm concerned, he should have died here. However, something happens. The last hit doesn't hit. He does lose Luma, but <laughs> Debuzz should be happy. He's not just dead. Uh, it goes back to spacing. It's like fine if you don't time these perfectly because you're cloud, you can just keep spacing. So you can just keep doing this. Like even though it got like power shielded, you can't punish it. I actually probably could have dash attacked that out of the power shield. Goes for the grab, he's already out of there. And then you just go back to spacing. Oh, catch the roll. Debuzz is back on the edge. There we go. Finally seeing some mix-ups out of the down air. That's normally good, but the buzz was ready for that one. So I don't hate that he went for the jab, I think. Well, I mean, I, like, it's kind of dumb to say, like, oh, he should have grabbed there. Because obviously, yeah, he should have grabbed there because the buzz shielded. But you don't really know if he's going to shield or not. So it's like a 50-50 at this point. But he does shield, gets the grab, throws him off stage. Doesn't really get a punish here either, though. Although it's kind of hard, like, what are you going to do to a cloud at 9 without Luma? So he waits for the mix-up. Uh, but Cloud has this option where he just snaps immediately. So Debuzz doesn't really have any options here. Couches the jump of the up tilt, goes for a second up tilt. That's good. Could he have gotten something better here? Uh, no, because even though Cloud is doing limit, he doesn't have to land with air dodge at a limit. He can cancel limit traditionally and attack. So if he went for like down air instead, this would have worked. But he air dodges out. 
Luma's still in a good position here because he can immediately go for the jabs. Get the reaction. The buzz immediately shields, but he retreats, gets better spacing. Woo! Every time, dude. It's crazy to me. This is so wild to me. So if we remember, the very first thing that happens in game one is the buzz goes for a jab, Leo rolls behind it, the buzz rolls away, Leo chases and gets a punish, and he got over the grab. He set the exact same situation up five times now. He clearly has the read, but he messes up the execution on four of the five times because he doesn't just go for the dash grab. I don't get it. Why wouldn't you just keep grabbing at that point? Because it's like such a good setup from Leo that he has the buzz condition to roll every time. And it's also good that he called the buzz out on it at the very beginning of the set. But he just keeps messing it up and the buzz is getting a grab here. Um, anyway, nothing really comes out of it in the end because Luma gets caught on the platform, so no follow-ups to be had there. Um, the buzz went for a bunch of like fancy Luma stuff, and now that Luma is recovering from the Nair, he's actually going to give Leo the space, which should be a free limit for De Leo, which it is. Now we're going back to playing this game. Does catch, was that a roll he caught? I think he caught a roll. Jab. Yeah, okay. He caught the roll perfectly. That almost did not work out, but he gets it. That's a free hit. Juggle time, but he backs off. It's a lot harder to catch Cloud's uh, landings when he has limit because he moves so far. You see the buzz goes for his patented thing here. Actually, before that. So he backs off expecting something. He just doesn't want to take the risk. That's fine. You get a, some stronger damage, hit him higher before you really commit too much. Goes through the nair, doesn't get it. Again, he's gonna back off or at least shield while Luma recovers from the lag. We reset, he's keeping himself safe. And then he goes for that, uh, the up air here. Goes for the preemptive up air. Again, this is just so good because even though it's not catching him, the fact that it's not catching him because it's a little, like, too far away, it means he's safe here and he gets another attack on the land. Definitely something to keep in mind. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Another thing to do here. So obviously goes for the thing here. He must have been reading the roll because if you do anything else, if you move forward or move back, you mess up Luma's positioning and this back air hit doesn't work. So he must have been reading that roll or at least hoping for a roll. And then he sets up a tech chase here. I think downer might be a little bit better than there as far as text traces are concerned, but it's still a really good follow-up. Again, I think downer would have been really good there. I think downer's busted on text traces, by the way. Like, run over here, run this way, downer here, okay? Downer here and retreat backwards. So either you get it, and if he rolls back in, then you land with Luma land back air. And if he doesn't, if he texts in place or doesn't tech, so especially since he's at the edge, the downer will hit all these other options. But anyway, he does anticipate the roll in, doesn't get the timing, and now Leo's out of there. I'm on team downer in that boat. But he does catch another roll. A lot of rolls from Leo. Rolled there, got out. Did another roll here. That was bad. The buzz was waiting for it. Gets the punish. And back to square one again. Look at that, dude. Every single time. Goes for the up air. Early. But what's keeping the up airs safe is even if he's off on the up airs, he's always doing them. Like, he's just right. Every time he goes for it, the other guy's already in the air. So he's not going to get punished for these. If Leo was still on the ground, this wouldn't be safe because he could run up. But because Leo needs to land and get to him, it's not safe. So the buzz is just so good at those and having a good idea of when the cloud is going to jump. Gets the hit, runs up. <laughs> Back to square one again. Ooh, there we go. Much better option from Leo here. Instead of rolling in or doing anything dumb, he's like, wait a second, I'm cloud, I have back air. Catches an aggressive option from the buzz. Looked like he was going for an up smash there, but wasn't going to work because the back air was perfectly spaced. Now you're off stage, you have no Luma. What's going to happen? Ooh, Leo looks for a jump. 
Looks like he's retired to down air for this part. Right there. He reacts to the movement of the buzz. He reacts to the animation, thinks it's a jump. It's not a jump. So it actually does get him punished, um, which is unfortunate. Still catches him sleeping in the back air. Sleeping in neutral with a back air. Because the buzz likes doing these pivots and running around and he just gets hit trying to retreat. Back to square one again. Oh, you're dead. The one time DeBuds goes for an aggressive option, he just loses for it. It's just crazy to me that they can both hold these options for so long and then the moment... Does this show up? Okay, it shows up. The moment DeBuds goes for something new, Leo's ready for it. That's how you know Leo's a top player. Like, <laughs> you can't hate the option from DeBuds. He hasn't done it once and it, it's good if you hit him. But... Leo is so ready for it, it's crazy. Ooh, that was not crazy though. So he lands, goes to the platform. Again, the buzz normally is very good at catching these drifts, but does not get the turnaround here, so. A little bit of imprecision on the sticks from the buzz there, gets Leo out of the invincibility thing for a while. Unspaced back air, that's like a punish for free. I'm going to revise my statement about DeBuzz catching landings. He's good at catching non-limit landings. He's missing these. But again, that's because you can't really reliably catch the limit cloud. You have to guess for it. So he's missing that. Tries to nair, gets hit. Again, low percent backers aren't a big deal. What are you doing, Leo? What are you doing? Lands. DeBuzz jabs. That's fine. We we're just playing neutral. He falls out of the jab. And you take so long to get the down tilt out. Again, it's like one of those things where if you're going to be slow about it, just don't do it. And he gets punished. Now he's off the edge. He rolls, gets by. Back air, that's fine. Ooh, that forward air was safe. Let's look at that forward air. The buzz misses a punish. Takes a back air to the face. Goes for another back air on Luma. Doesn't get it, but it's safe because it's cloud, so he runs away. The buzz misses that punish. Leo goes for a forward air on shield. But he retreats this time, so it's finally safe instead of forward airing into the buzz. Doesn't get the punish, Luma's gone. Alright, so the forward airs with the limit while retreating are good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright. Let, let me talk about that sequence for a little bit. So you got the... Wait, was that landing up air? That was landing up air, right? Cloud, baits, anything. That's good. So he's doing all this movement at the beginning. At this point in time, Leo's not trying to do anything. He's just scaring the buzz with the possibility that he might do something. So he's doing nothing, doing nothing. On this short hop, the buzz goes, this is my opportunity to catch him doing nothing. But he was wrong. He gets baited with a double jump. Cloud moves at the speed of light, so he gets to land with an up air. Landing up air is like the worst thing that can happen to you. Especially with the platform right there. So one up air, guaranteed. Two up airs, guaranteed. Nair. Now this is the part that I think is really good. That last retreating fair looks like an ash attack might have been able to punish it. Uh, no. I think that forward air was safe. I think that forward air was completely safe because he had limit. And it's really not that laggy. And the forward air itself has more shield stun on it than it kind of shows. So I think that was a safe forward air. Anyway, so he gets the nair. Now what Devuz is looking for here... He has the momentum, he's looking for an air dodge into limit cross slash, and then he'd win. But both players are very good here. Zabuzz goes, this is the only way I can lose. I'm not going to get caught up in the flurry of attacks. And after that nair, did he have to double jump for that nair? I need to double check that. Nair, nair, okay so he doesn't double jump. Which means after this nair, even with the double jump, it would just be another up air. So the buzz is very smart for not giving the air dodge here for the limit. But that being said, Leo is very good for being smart enough to not pull the trigger because he didn't get the side beat. Because I promise you, every cloud that isn't Leo or Tweak or Como, maybe even Como might do it. But like even high level clouds, mid level clouds, anything below the top level clouds, they would have thrown out this limit anyway. Like they would have just done it. But Leo is way more disciplined, and he holds the limit. So I'm just very happy that they both did the right play here. 
And again, it's still a bad position for DeBuzz because Cloud moves like it's Speed of Lightning. He has no jump, so he's going to have to reset on this offstage platform. Leo does try to challenge it, doesn't get there in time. That's still fine though for both of them because he can just keep doing his thing. And DeBuzz is still in disadvantage. Ooh. Ooh. Could he have punished that? Like, raw? Gets the four there. I don't think he could have gotten the... Oh, he should have up-tilted here. 100%. 100%. Um, that was good. This is risky. But again, this is something DeBuzz has been doing. He... Could he have caught the jump with the limit up B? Um... Maybe, but Limit Up B wouldn't have killed, so it would have been bad. Uh, I definitely agree with Leo that the play was to look for an air dodge read. I agree with the buzz that jumping is the safest option, because yes, if Leo read the jump, he could have done jump up air, jump up B, but I don't think either of those would have killed. Because it wouldn't have been the strong part of the up B, it would have been like some weird part up at the top. So, good play from both, but anyway. DeBuzz has been doing a lot of mix-ups in neutral with no Rosalina or with no Luma. The first time he did short hop double air dodge to get behind. The second time he did short hop single air dodge land and play. This time he did short hop single air dodge into forward air. So it's cool that he's mixing that up just as a way to try and- like it's a risk but it's a nice way to try and turn the tables a little bit. He gets this forward air. This should be an up tilt from DeBuzz right here. The moment he can. That would have been a confirm, but the buzz runs away. Um, actually, the more I look at it, I don't dislike this option here. Because if you anticipate this situation, if he didn't run back this way, if he just turned this way, he could have caught the tech chase with an up air. Now the problem is the platform is moving away. So that's what makes the running this way bad. If he just turned around and let Luma settle in, he'd be able to catch all the options with the up air. So that is a better overall than my suggestion of the up tilt, but he didn't space it right, so that's not gonna hit. Um, ooh, amazing, good, good up smash, dude. Catches the double jump, and this one he just, this is a hard read right here. That's a hard read. The buzz is really good at catching the aerial patterns. So, thank God that the buzz didn't lose that game, considering at a full stock lead with only 7%. But that was still almost last hit. Like, Cloud was just one more hit into an offstage, like, play. So, we're moving on in. Game four. Going back to town. What will we do when we're sober? So, obviously, considering that this is still... Damn, we're only 10 minutes in. Obviously, that was going to win this one. Jab, jab, up air, that's fine. Surprises that Luma would actually have caught that platform anyway. Ah. Huh. I didn't know Rosalina would, or I guess I should have, right? I wouldn't have thought to up smash there, that's all I'm saying. Barely doesn't work out. It lets Leo land, but it's kind of hard to stop him from landing anyway. Gets the jab. I really like the buzz's like single jabs when he's running in. He's only really getting in trouble when he does the extra jabs. Because that's when he starts getting punished or rolled behind. But I, I do like the single jabs. So he does catch him going in for, I think, the cross slash. One more time. Yeah, he's going for the cross slash, but he got one. Nothing off of it. Retreating there. You don't want to commit to the nair. There you go. Jab one, jab two. Wait for a roll. DeBuzz is catching on to the roll behinds. Look at that. One jab into something. Even though it's been like 20 seconds of no real play. I do like it. Uh, but he gets hit here. Right there, yeah. That's just clean neutral play from Leo. Looks for the up air again. Even when the up air doesn't work out, this is still safe. And Leo's not running into it anymore. Leo's doing his own thing. Looking for limit. Oh, just kidding. He still looks for it. Take back what I said. He thinks this is the one he can punish. But I think he dash attacks too late, too early, or too soon. Uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, who was it? Thanks for the follow, Diet Cake. Anyway, this is just way safer than it looks. Maybe he should have nared. Maybe the dash attack was just too early. Um, but 
That clanks. Yeah, the dash attack was too early. I think you gotta punish that. So good on Leo for recognizing the sequence, but you can tell Leo is not familiar with this situation because it's a fairly new thing the Rosalinas are doing, or the Buzz is doing. Because I'm sure is I'm not doing it yet. Anyway, doesn't get the punish, and because it clanks, the Buzz realizes that very well. It gets the punish. Goes for that. Goes for the dash attack. That's good. He reads the DI low. Catches the run in with the jab again. He stops after the second one and immediately goes for the up air. I like it. So if you want like a little, uh, what is it? If you want a little primer on how the buzz is playing neutral where he's not just getting mauled by cloud. Single jabs or jab one twos into nothing is really good when cloud is running on the ground. And then once you think cloud is going to jump, you preemptively short hop up air to catch the, his jump and then you retreat. So if you don't get it, you're safe with the Luma land. If you think Cloud is going to continue doing grounded options, you shield or you back off and you wait for the roll or the dash attack. Debuzz is just showing a lot of mastery in the neutral right now because I know a lot of Rosalina's got ran over by Clouds in neutral. Job 1-2 and he leaves. However, this is normally the situation Leo sets up where he goes for the roll and then reads the roll away. It's just so strange to me that Leo has done this so many times and he only got the punish for it once. It's even stranger he got the punish the first time and hasn't the rest of the time. But he backs off. I think it might be he's like... It might be because, you know, you're one game away from losing. Being in that situation makes you less likely to go for reads. So, I can kind of see why. But I, if I were him, I would have just kept doing it. Because the bus has literally rolled every single time and has not once done something else um so anyway he does that was bad debuzz goes for the punish on the roll doesn't get it like risky from debuzz doesn't work out but what the hell was that turnaround up smash at 11 percent maybe that's a misinput maybe that's supposed to be like turnaround up tilt because he's done turnaround up tilt before but the up smash is clearly terrible um, it does kill Luma, and Debuzz doesn't punish it, so it's not like the worst thing to happen to Leo, but that was a free punish. That was a super free punish. But, Cloud is allowed to make those little mistakes in this matchup and still get away with it. Even though Debuzz does a landing mix-up here, gets the forward air, goes for the jab, but Leo jumps, so he doesn't get anything there. And then Debuzz goes for a dash grab, it looks like. Dash grab wasn't good. Let's see how much this dash back sets him back. Yeah, that was a weird, weird spacing from Debuzz. That's an up air. That's an up air on the platform. Another hit. Yeah, that's all guaranteed. How much did he take from that in total? 40, 43 damage. Yeah, 43 damage from that. On one of the lightest characters in the game. And you still haven't landed. Nair Nair. You gotta land somehow. The Nair gets called out. That's all good. You're off stage. Gotta come back. What happens? And you're dead. Well, you're not dead, but you got caught. Oh boy. All for that one thing. Oh, and it's still going. Let's just see what keeps happening. Okay, that was good from DeBuzz. So he does get up. He does shield. I think the shield is way better than the spot dodges and stuff. Because what's gonna happen? You're gonna get grabbed? You're at kill percent to the same moves anyways. The grab's no big deal. But then, this is the good part. When he sees the forward air is gonna have some lag, he takes a little bleh, a little bit of movement forward. Now that could have been called out normally by like a forward tilt from Leo, but uh, generally speaking, only bad clouds do the forward tilt after. Or not the bad clouds, but it's definitely an autopilot-y option, so Leo's not going for it. Rosalina runs in, takes a little bit of space. You can see her shield kind of sucks right now. So he's going to move back a little bit. And again, just having a little bit of space to work with gives you a lot more options against Cloud's uh, pressure and neutral. Eventually, he finds his way to the stage with the roll. That was a, that's a good roll. I like that roll. You don't want to roll generally when Cloud has already jumped because he just has so many options. But when you roll here... Maybe Leo could have reacted to it, but he did not. So, there we go. 
It's hard to react to. Goes for the jab. Luma died, really? To that? A zero? And the, the platform just leaves? Oh, that's terrible. That's garbage. Okay, whatever. So, DeBuzz has to do exactly what he just did for another 13 seconds. He gets caught out, though. Gets caught out again. You can't regular get up forever. I do think DeBuzz regular gets up so much. Regular get ups so much that it would be really good for Leo to just keep reading it with a grab instead of all the other stuff, which he's finally doing. So down we go, looks for free hits. Ooh, interesting. That's a two frame attempt. Uh, that can't hit Rosalina. I, this time he didn't, not a big deal. Really good roll read from DeBuzz. Or maybe not even a read, I think it's a reaction at this point. Really good reaction from DeBuzz. That's an up throw up there. So obviously, not a great roll from Leo. He just throws out the limit. It's a, that's a cute mix up. Because you're going to kill Luma. And maybe hit Rosa, in this case it does. But he goes for the limit charge here. He could have chased Luma and killed Luma. But that's fine. He realizes that he missed his opportunity. He keeps going for more limit. Oh, gets away with the down air. That's the type of down air that I do like. When you do the down air in a way where you can act again afterwards, it's better. But the down airs in game one, the buzz kept landing with lag, and those down airs suck. But this one's really good, because if you get the clip, you can throw another attack. Now, obviously, it's not a guaranteed attack, because if you pay attention, you can see he's actually looking for like a four tilt here, I think. I think it's a four tilt. Doesn't work. Gets hit. This is fine. Ooh, barely doesn't get a hit. This is good from both players here. So he pressures with the up air. Doesn't land in front of the shield. Okay, it's not it's not good from both players. It's decent. So it's good from Leo because he chose to not continue drifting forward. So the buzz anticipates a cross up, which would have let him get the grab. Leo doesn't get the grab, or Leo doesn't do that, so that's free. However, Leo was anticipating a roll read with the up air. Because normally when he's in that position, from the jab setup, that triggers the buzz to roll forward. But, which the buzz might have done if he knew that Leo was behind him. But Leo, or the buzz thought Leo was in front of him, because he went for the grab. So because of that, oh wait, actually that was a roll on... Leo's part. Do I need to revise my entire statement? I thought this was really good from Leo because he intentionally didn't go in front of him. And to me, it's clear it's not going in front of him, but to both of them, it looks like they didn't know because he's buffering a defensive option and uh, DeBuzz is buffering a punish. So I don't know what's going on there. I thought it was a good play from Leo initially, but now I don't know anymore. Um, he got the down tilt on the way in. Risky, risky Nair. I'm actually surprised this Nair works out. I think he's trying to hit the getup with the Rosa Nair. But then he commits with the... Or he tries to hit him with the Luminaire initially. And then chooses to commit. And somehow doesn't get back aired for it. So that could have gone either way for sure. Hits him off stage. He just snaps to the edge. That's free. More roll spam from both of them. Look at this. Goes to the back air. Goes for another early back air. Roll from Cloud. Run forward from Rosa. Another roll from Cloud. So that was actually a read on DeBuzz's part. Wait a second. Yeah, I don't know. I thought DeBuzz had a read here. He ran forward to where Leo was going to roll, but then he rolls as well. Mm, I think maybe that was a miss simple from DeBuzz and he thought he got a punish, but like never let go with the shield button. That's That's possible to me. Either way, so now he's back in this position when DeBuzz could have had a punish. Goes to back to where Luma is, that's good. Nice Nair. I think the Nairs are kind of risky, but it's working here. He's catching Leo. Maybe he meant to do the up air here. The up air would have been even better. Um, DeBuzz is doing a really good job of just calling out Leo's aerial timings. Obviously, the answer for Leo in all these parts is to not just keep jumping in the same spot. But it's also major credit to DeBuzz. He just has the pattern down almost perfectly. Sets up that, free up air. Good job. That was really good. 
And catches him running off for another kill, dude. Let's get it. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Buzz is in a good position to just win the game. Win the set here. Leo uses his invincibility to kill the Luma. That's free right here. Now, maybe he thought this up tilt was going to poke. Maybe he thought Leo or DeBuzz was going to drop. But either way, DeBuzz does the right thing and shields it. Something that is worth noting that I actually wasn't 100% sure on is even though DeBuzz was shielding the wrong way, he still had enough time to grab him because he did it immediately. So that's something to know is that that's not safe on Cloud's part if you're ready for it. That's a grab. I think forward throw dash attack would have been better here. Eh, he had a bit of rage. I think that's fine. He runs in thinking maybe I can catch the DI low on the dash attack, but good on to Buzz. He realizes it's not going to work out, so he stops. Leo takes the limit. Yeah, that's, that's fine for both players. And now Leo gets to pressure. Let's just look at how DeBuzz survives all that. Oh, he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't survive it at all. But everything else, what does DeBuzz have to do? He needs to not get back aired. And that's it. Not get hit by anything. So he back air, outspaces that, but you can't punish it. So DeBuzz takes his space. That's what you want. Take the space, put the shield up again. I think instead of running, if he walked... He wouldn't have needed a shield so early. I think that would have been a better option here. Also, every time he runs, he puts himself at risk of getting forward tilted. Um, so here, should this should be a walk, I think. Because if you run, one, you could get forward tilted, and two, if you go straight back to the back air, um, you have to put your shield up again. And then you're kind of back to square one. So he puts the backer down, and now he has to run away again, because Leo might go for something. So this is all, other than the walk run part, it's good for DeBuzz to do this, it's good for Leo to chase. DeBuzz anticipates a dash attack, uh, but Leo is using Cloud's pressure really well. Uh, hello TCO. Cloud goes for a, a jump there. Just more pressure, more pressure. DeBuzz goes for a short hop mix-up, but... Leo is up in the sky somewhere, so the gambit doesn't really pay off. Another back air. The buzz needs to leave now. Doesn't leave. Didn't leave. Shielded too many back airs, you're dead. That's free limit for Cloud. Okay, that was really good for him, Leo, though. He's like, oh, let me charge limit. And then he's like, wait a second, Luma's gonna come back soon. Never mind. <laughs> that was really good. I'm very happy that Leo did that. Um, up throw, up air, can't up throw, up air that percent, buddy. Not at 11. That was really fast from DeBuzz, though. If you look at this. DeBuzz lands. Even though he jabs the wrong way, he turn around shields really fast. So that's good on DeBuzz's part. This up throw, up air is terrible. That was never going to work. Um, and he gets a dash attack for it. And loses Luma for it, and is off stage for it, all because he went for a combo in the wrong percent window. Now, not only was Cloud able to air dodge it, but even if the Cloud like did up air, I think the Buzz still wouldn't have been able to up throw up air him. So, I think that was just strictly bad from the Buzz. If you wanted to do up throw, you could have done up throw up tilt or up throw and then read the landing, but up throw up air has put him in a terrible position. Friggin' Leo is just spamming up air here. One, two, three. Are those all power shields from DeBuzz? That's really good. One power shield. Not a power shield. Two power shield. Three power shield. Alright, good job to DeBuzz. <laughs> he keeps his shield nice and nice and fresh and doesn't get his dress poked out. This time DeBuzz goes for a landing attack to catch the up air. But Leo air dodges it. Then he rolls away. They both pick a defensive option. And now we're back to where we were. Ooh, catches the roll. Oh, Cloud is OP. Rolls in. Good read from Leo. It's just so hard as Rosalina. Like, you are looking for your opportunity, but it's just so rough. Just find it. Gets hit twice. Got to catch the landing. Catches it. And then backs off. Why does he back off? Really good Nair. I guess the Nair just hits him at an angle he can't really do anything for. So that's fine. 
Yeah, Cloud is moving right now. He's also, you can see DeBuds is less confident in the aerial timings because he's not really going for the up airs. And then when he does, it's it's wrong. So, Leo switched up his timing. Oh, careful. Yeah, that was really good from Leo. He's just, he has DeBuds completely thrown off right now. Catches the Nair on the retreat. That's a combo. I think he tried doing that before and it didn't work out and then he died for it. But that is what he must have been going for the first time. Yeah, he's catching the air dodges in the landings. It's so hard to land as Rosalina, but... It's a lot less sneaky to do the drifty air dodge thing when Luma's with you. Because the invisibility kind of gets ruined by Luma anyway. So he goes, kills Luma instead, then immediately goes back to this. I agree with that play entirely. And yeah, the buzz needs to survive this nonsense for 13 seconds. At any point, like, Leo could just do something, but DeBuzz waits it out, and that was an amazing punish. Waits for that, takes the back air retreats, air dodges, and Leo thinks, like, Leo sniffs it out. But something DeBuzz is so good at is mixing up the way he drifts when he air dodges. So you can see visibly, or I guess he's invisible still, he did not drift in, which Leo thought he would. He drifted in place. Amazing timing on that. That is when you know you're a man. Gets the punish, gets the tech chase. I think he... He was actually ready for that downer too. Like, he was in position to punish this, but then Leo gets caught on the platform, which threw the buzz off guard. The jab... Oh, he does commit to the jab too early. Ooh, okay. I don't like these parts though. I don't like these parts. So... I know now that the Leo wants the forward air to beat the jab. But... If DeBuzz didn't jab, this forward air would not be safe at all. So, you gotta be a little careful with where you choose to jab, because I don't think the jab one would have even hit the shield. Let's try and go back for it. Maybe it would have hit the shield? Otherwise, this could have just been a guess that Leo wins. Mm, no, I wouldn't have hit. Okay, the jab's bad. Jab is bad. Verdict is in. He was too close. Not safe. Should have retreated a little bit and then gone back to neutral. Hits the forward air. Wards Luma. Debuzz sacrifices Luma, which would have been okay, but as I said the last time he did this, um, he doesn't do it properly, so he actually barely misses the edge here. Now, Debuzz actually could have landed on stage if he did. If he tossed the Luma and then, then did double jump up air, Rosalina's hurtbox actually got shifted up a little bit during the up air, and that would have been enough. I'm very confident. The up, he would have been able to land on stage with the up air. But he does the Nair, barely doesn't make it on, loses Luma. He's off stage. Now, he gets a little bit of respite, because at this point in time, Leo thinks that Luma is going to get caught on the platform. So instead of going straight for the edge trapping, he goes to finish the job. Um, obviously, like, if you look at that, you can't really blame Leo for thinking that, right? Look at this. <laughs> Luma's visibly going through the platform. So I don't blame him for thinking Luma was going to live here. Because if you ask me, is Luma dead or not? I would say yes, Luma's... Or I would say no, Luma's not dead. But she was. So Leo goes for that, and that lives... That gives the buzz the opportunity to get up. Gets the down tilt, gets dash attack. A little bit of free damage, but these forward airs, dude. He did the forward air game one, got punished for it. Cloud is just too quick. Can't be doing those. That must have been a misinput. There's no way. There's no universe that was intentional, that forward tilt. And he died for it. Poor guy. What's he saying? I have no idea what he's saying right now. Should I try and turn on the volume, see what he's saying? He looks mad. Alright, let's turn the volume up, see what he says. He died though. He died though. The up air looking like a free patch up there. <laughs> Can you believe Cloud's up used to be Looks like he has a problem with the headset. <laughs> yep. Finishing Jets used to combo out of that easy. He, he's upset stronger. about something, I have no idea what he's saying. Crosslash was stronger, I believe, Yeah. The commentators aren't gonna know, they're doing their own thing. Okay. Never mind.
Looks like they're adjusting the audio. Was that bad yet? Yeah, no, he was dead. He was dead. Just a terrible position to be in. Okay, it looks like they're adjusting the audio. I don't really care at this point. Tabas can tell me what was going on there, but clearly something was messing with him. Oh, is this why the set is so long? Okay, I feel better. I was like scared that I had to still do all this analysis, but we're just gonna skip right through that. The buzz can tell me what's wrong with that later. Game five on Battlefield. I approve? Well, do I approve? Yeah, Battlefield versus FD. Um, assuming, oops, wrong button. Assuming that Leo banned FD, or if Leo banned Lilat again, then he could have taken him back to FD. But I think what probably happened here is Leo changed his bans to FD after realizing that no one really wants to go to Lilat. So, Debuzz goes immediately there. I think that spot dodge is bad. Well, actually, hold on. That's, yeah, that's no good. Uh, obviously, he doesn't get hit here. But for you to spot dodge that, you would be anticipating a runoff forward air, runoff nair, runoff up air. I think all three of those moves would hit through the spot dodge because Luma's going to catch it anyway. Maybe not runoff nair, but the other two definitely. So spot dodge is bad, but Leo like doesn't hit him anyway, so they're both down on the stage. Doesn't end up mattering. Woo! Look at that! Look at that! Alright, shoutouts to the buzz here. Uh, Leo does what Leo's been doing rolls behind and this is where every other time the buzz rolls and then leo chases him but the buzz changes it up he immediately turns around and jabs that's really good from the buzz gets the hit leo goes for another roll for a grab i think leo thought he had like a raw punish there yeah i think leo just thought he had the frames for it but that's gonna put him in another bad position gets out only eight damage it's sad that I feel like some of the most impressive plays people do, to me, the most impressive plays, not like air dodge read for knees, but little things like that. In DeBuzz's case, it only got him eight damage, but I thought that was very impressive. Um, shields all that. Ooh, greedy from Leo to actually finish the side B. Like, obviously it's a mix up. You can tell though, how can I retreat or re rewind and do this? This is a, it's like a mix-up, but in my opinion, this is kind of a newbie mix-up. So, I would actually be offended <laughs> that Leo would be doing this to me in Game 5. Um, he's stalling the side Bs, hoping that DeBuzz crosses his shield. But he stalls the first two, Leo, or DeBuzz still shields, and then Leo finishes thinking he'll drop the shield. Like, look at that. I'm offended. I would be offended if I were DeBuzz. Anyway, he gets the free punish. He tries to get a follow-up with the Luma. So Luma lands, and he goes straight for it. But in this position, he didn't have the time, because Luma was too low. So dash attack would have been the play there. He tries to get a Luma land there right after. It still doesn't work. Leo gets the down tilt. And so Leo ends up being the victor here because of the positioning. Oh, careful. Careful, buddy. Gets caught on the platform. Goes for the forward air. Um, the max space forward airs, I think you need the you need limit for them to be safe. Uh, but DeBuzz does power shield this, which is pretty good for him. Where's my freaking mouse, dude? I want to bring my mouse this way. Uh, thanks for the follow, Lancelot. Anyway, really good on DeBuzz to power shield that. It's the only way he's getting the punish. So if you want to be safe even on power shield i think you need to be doing retreating limit for there but good on the buzz gets that gets the grab goes for another back throw back throw back air would only catch bad di but it's still fine i guess just to look for it he's still holding the position then he misses an opportunity here though um it's kind of hard to catch cloud's landings on battlefield he does go for a limit Air dodge retreat, which is punishable if you read it, but DeBuzz didn't read it. You can tell DeBuzz thought he was going to air dodge through. Barely doesn't get it in time, but that's also, like, that has to be a read. You can't react to all of that with the platforms. Like, Cloud just gets out of a bad position too quickly. 
So he makes it back, and then he goes for landing up air. How the hell does that not hit? That's very- are they both- is he? Is he accessing that? How did that miss? Right? How the hell did that miss? Cloud's up there. How did that miss? Look at that. Did he just like time it wrong? Did Rosa Z access it? I don't. I don't know why that didn't hit. But whatever. Uh, he got a hit on Luma. Yeah, that's free. Okay, so it still works out for him. Much better Luma clearing this game than he did before. He does that, and then retreating back. You can't do anything about that. You just gotta watch. Um, so now it's back to the same mold of just pressure Rosa. This time, DeBuzz does get the aggressive option here. So, normally Leo's been doing a good job of, like, waiting those out. I think it's easier to wait those out with limit, but when he's doing it without limit, DeBuzz has a little bit more opportunity. But it's also just a good guess from DeBuzz. Gets that, throws him onto the platform, so he should look for something here. Maybe not... I was going to say maybe not the forward air because those got him punished, but this time he's landing underneath the platform, not in a way. Let me try and rewind that. The forward air is a lot safer here than over here. That's all I'm trying to say. This one, he has no limit, so it's harder for him to run off and hit him. And two, the buzz is drifting in a way. I guess the drift doesn't matter because he gets the hit confirm anyway. Oh my god. Anyway, I was originally going to say I don't like the forwarders because they're not safe. But this one's decent. Because he can land here if it didn't work. And he wouldn't get hit by a shield drop up air. And I don't think he has limits, so he wouldn't be able to run off Nair. So this one's way safer. But it is surprising to me that Leo would drop his shield and get hit by it. Gets hit. Goes to the edge. Ooh, good movement by the buzz. I think that was a like, half read, half reaction. Maybe it was also a trump bait. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on here with the movement. But DeBuzz does it perfectly. Gets another grab. Throws him back off. Again, that's the type of thing that, to me, is so impressive. But he's actually getting, like, 10 damage off of it and then resetting the edge. Looks for... Ooh, risky, risky boy. Risky. That backer doesn't work. Here, he anticipates a double jump. Or, no, it's just he didn't see the air dodge coming, I guess. Maybe he thought there was a jump. That's a weird back air to go for. I'm not a huge fan of that one, because... Eh, I don't know. I think that back air was a little greedy. He's gonna get hit for it. Leo trades limit for Luma. If I'm to buzz, I don't mind that trade, honestly. But and I guess it also depends how long it takes him to get off the edge. Because, it's again, it's easier to avoid that pressure when he doesn't have limit. But... Leo makes it a worthwhile shot on his part because he hits the back air onto the shield once and then the buzz goes for the aggressive play and Leo is able to counter it. It looks like uh, the buzz kind of had the right idea but you just have to be so precise to really hit Cloud when he's in the middle of his assault that it's very easy for things to go wrong. So Leo drifts just enough for the up smash to be too far away, gets a hit. Combo, three up airs, because game is fair. And then the buzz eventually lands. Nope, not really, it doesn't. Jumps that way, that's fine. It's a fine mix up for the buzz, but also Cloud can just chase you. So none of this. It's good for the buzz to not get hit here, but he's not out of the woods yet. Uh, that was just a really good tomahawk from Leo. He dodges the stack hit of the Nair. Throws him off, doesn't get hit by Luma. Down air gets punished. The buzz needs to be careful about the down air. But then, Leo just mistimes this. Just barely mistimes it. And I think this has been DeBuzz's best friend, his regular get up from the edge. He hasn't been punished for it raw that many times. It's only been like three or four. Oh. Oh, no, 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 DeBuzz. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. Here, he lands. Mm, okay, yeah, that's fine. Normally, what you can do is you can actually shield grab this if you're Rosalina, but you need Luma to take the hit because it, it like gives you enough time to get the grab out. 
but because he had to turn around, Luma wasn't going to be in front of him in time anyway. So the Starbits is good. And then what Debuzz anticipates here, this is good from both players. So the Starbits is fine. Debuzz anticipates Leo to drop low and come up. So he started doing the forward smash, expecting Leo to go low, but Leo actually goes for the high up B again. So very smart from Leo to go for the mix up there that Debuzz wasn't anticipating. But then he immediately ruins it with this terrible down air. Yeah, mm, not a fan of that down air. Lands with lag. Especially because the bus has been looking for back airs all game. So I don't know what Leo was even looking for that would have gotten a hit onto the buzz. Anyway, that time still gets punished. Takes a little bit of damage. Eventually makes it back. The forward airs are. Is that a power shield on the forward air? No, if it's regular shield, spaced, retreating, he's fine. And again, the shield stun is what makes it hard to punish. Um, it's moving around, moving around. Ooh, yeah, that's why, I, that's why I had been saying earlier on in the set that the nares are risky, because you can just hit them. And even if you didn't have limit, you can still punish the nair with regular cross slash. So, it's good for Leo to actually punish those instead of letting him fly around with them all day long. Ooh, nice for the buzz. So he gets this wrong. Leo's not really willing to punish it. Actually, no, he is. He runs in, but doesn't want to get hit by the Nair. So he shields early, that's good. Then he rolls. So the buzz is ready for it again. The backers don't work. Something I want to talk to the buzz about is the desync backer is really good for the range, right? But something that happens mentally when Rosalina set this up is we go, oh, we have the desync back air. We want to hold this desync for as long as possible. And in order to hold it, you have to keep back airing. But I, so we're back airing because we want to keep the range, the, the desync range. But the problem is, is that because you continue back airing, you make it really obvious the timings. So anytime you see Rosalina's do desync back airs, and this is me included, that's why I'm saying we like need to think about this a little bit more. The backers will always come one after another, and you just follow the Luma. And so Debuzz was trying to mix up the last one with Luma Land Nair, but I do think that we're, we're getting like a little obvious with holding the desync range for too long. Anyway, so that's a punish for Debuzz, or punish for Leo. That's a hit on Luma. Um, it's good that Debuzz himself didn't get hit there. That looks safe. Looks like he's going for Luma there. Luma dodges it, so good break from the buzz. These nares are a little scary though. Ooh, good job, good job. Yeah, he didn't quite get the cross up he wanted on that job. Looked like Leo was going for a down smash there, in which case I'm mad. He was down, that guy was down smashing, dude. I hate it when people do these types of smash attacks at low percent. I hate it, I hate it. Yeah, that's a down smash. I know a down smash when I see one. You son of a bitch, Leo. Alright, you deserve that job. Hits him straight up, too. Good situation here. Not quite. Keeps looking for the back airs. Now he has limit. Watch your nares, dude. Watch your nares. Ah. Ah. That could have been a better punish for Leo. Actually, that was like... Rolls out. This is a forward smash, I think. Look at that. That puts him like right where Luma is. A forward smash or a dash attack would have killed Luma. Um, so this is kind of lucky for it to buzz that it works out the way it did. Catches landing with an air. This should be a limit for sure. The forward tilt's fine. He probably could have gotten a better punish. Yeah, he definitely could have gotten a better punish. But it's hard. He could have tried buffering a forward smash out of shield and had it just come out as forward tilt. Because that, that just happens sometimes. So, unlucky. And I don't think up smash would have killed without Luma. So, Fortune not the worst thing in the world. But he does not... It's just hard, that angle, to stop Cloud from doing that. Because if you want to stop Cloud from going for the snap here, you have to run off stage. You didn't have Luma either. So, running off stage lets him go around you, which you don't want to do when you're stocked down. But he does get to do a double jump up air. Luma's gone. This is looking really good for Leo. Ah! 
Nice, dude. Again, he just pressures by doing nothing and calls calls out a response from the buzz. But this is crazy. Leo's like... He's looking for something beautiful here, but... Maybe just take the tomahawk? Because look how much time he lets it hang, dude. Like, da 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 He could have grabbed that whole time. Um, he's obviously looking for a next double read, but... I think the grab would have been fine there. How does he die? Oh, he just does it. Okay. Good job for the buzz. Calls out short hop back air with an up smash. He needed that too. He really needed that. Leo realizes he's game five last hit. He or last stock. So he goes to get some limit. Da 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 da. But in doing so, he actually puts himself in a bad position. Takes a little bit of damage. Doesn't matter too much. Nice job grab. Ooh, that could have been it. Oh, that could have been it. He thought he, I thought he had it there. Just mistimes it. But Leo is doing like a lot of air dodging, which puts him in lag. So he does get punished for that, thrown right back off. The buzz is freaking swinging, dude. Look at this. He wants to win so bad. He wants to win so bad, but he gets punished. It's because he went for the down tilt after he got punished, but I don't hate either of those options because it's kind of guessing at that point. And he's trying to win, right? Because he's he's down and knows limit will get cloud will get limit soon. Oh god, is this how it ends? No, that's not how Leo's gonna go down. Okay, let's look at all that though. Pulls that out, rolls behind, catches it with jab, jab one two three, catches the double jump with that. Okay, so sloppy landing from Leo. Good on the buzz to recognize it. He rolls. That ends up being perfect spacing on the double roll here. So he looks for back air, I think. The cross up back air, it doesn't work. They both roll at the same time, and the spacing just works out amazingly for Rosalina. Jab, jab. That's guaranteed. Waits for the air dodge, amazing. Leo's smart, he double jumps. The buzz tries to catch him anyway. He still has limit though, so it's really hard to catch the drift. Ooh, the buzz could lose. The buzz could lose. Double jumps the platform. He's never done this. All the times he's done the down air, now he finally double jumps. That's good. Obviously, you're not out of the woods yet, but it's better than being at the edge. So now he needs to navigate his way down. Which, by the way, let me plug my video on platform camping where I'm at the top of the mountain and I explain at the top of the mountain that it's completely okay to just kind of wait on the top there but he goes down immediately gets hit i mean it's a hard position to be in you got to be very careful still getting hit oh i can't believe the buzz wins this honestly Ooh. Ooh. the pressure uh leo actually has this pattern caught on pretty well so leo's actually been really good he does this does this does this and normally he's right here because the buzz the last couple times did run up smash and he goes to the roll and he thinks he has it right here but he just barely doesn't get it but leo is so good man he does the cross up as well so it's still safe to go for it goes for more forward airs he's just swinging dude oh amazing the buzz pulls out the uh again the short hop Short hop move. Now, the reason why I think the short hop is so good, short hop air dodge, is because every time he did short hop air dodge, he's done something different out of it. And all of them are risky in their own right, but it's just impossible for Leo to know what the buzz is gonna do, because he's been conditioning him over time. Short hop, double air dodge was the first one. Short hop air dodge into landing shield was the second one. Short hop, Forward air dodge forward air was the third one. And now he's doing short hop air dodge back air. Like, there's just a lot to keep track of. DeBuzz goes for a very aggressive. No, oh, actually, that was just strict reaction. Tech in place was not good from Leo here because it's reactable. Gets grabbed. Goes for the limit. Good job for DeBuzz. Oh! These forward airs are getting him in trouble though. This one was not a spaced forward air at all. He just jumps in and the buzz rolls out, gets the punish, throws him off stage. He can win, he can win. Oh, and he goes for it and he does it. 
And he pops off. All right. Good. I like it. He actually bets it all at the very end here. Good job, Ryder, getting rid of the bot. Let's look at that one more time. As I said, I think it's good to just go for it sometimes. This is a super do or die situation. Shout outs to the Buzz for actually risking it all right there. Seriously, shout outs to the Buzz. Um, so to do a recap, the killers for Leo was unspaced forward airs and a lot of things where he had the right idea, but he was too slow. And when you need, when you're too slow, or you think you're going to be too slow, you got to cut yourself off and not go for it. DeBuzz showed a lot more restraint in that regard. DeBuzz did a very good job of following the non-limit landings. DeBuzz had a lot of callouts in neutral with the jabs and the up airs. I think the, uh, Leo was doing really good neutral near the end. He caught on, but similarly. The buzz stopped doing the obvious rolls after Leo's rolls. So they were both adapting to each other very well. Um, and again, this is such a hard matchup for Rosalina. So the buzz was doing a really good job. He did get a lot of freebies. Like, there's just... You don't want to take anything away from anyone, but we, like, visibly there were a lot of freebies from Leo to the buzz. But the buzz did a good job making them count as much as they could. I was actually very impressed with the play from both of the players. I know some people were telling me that Leo was like too sloppy the whole time. He was definitely sloppy in some parts. Especially that like retarded Arcadian down smash that got him forward smashed on FD. That was so bad. But for the most part I liked what uh, Leo was doing. Uh, and that will do it for this.